Welcome to the computer function and its structure tutorial. Initiating system one. System one loaded. The computer. As you can see in the illustration, inside the circle is the computer and it can store and process data by means of peripheral devices. Peripheral devices are anything that are attached to the computer. Example of these are mouse, keyboard, printer, scanner, and many more. Computer also have communication lines. These lines makes the user communicate to anyone. Example of this are the computer modem, router, or anything that gives us signals to communicate. The computer top level structure. The first circle is the computer composes of input and output devices, main memory, system interconnection, and CPU. The second circle shows what is inside the CPU. They are the register, ALU, interconnection bus, and control unit. And the third circle composes the function of control unit like sequencing logic, control unit, register, decoders, and control memory. So now, what is structure? A structure is the way in which the components are interrelated. It means to say that this serves as a method or pathway that makes the component connected to each other. There are four main structural components of computer. As you can see, this is the first component, which is the central processing unit, also called as CPU or processor. It controls the operation of the computer and performs its data processing functions, simply referred to as processor. It is the brain of the computer. It accepts input, processing data, and provides output. It is not only an important element, but a crucial one. Without it, the system would not be able to function at all. This is the second component, the main memory. It is the computer's work area. It stores a program when the program is running, as well as the data that the program is working with. The third component, the input and output devices. It moves data between the computer and its external environment. For example, when you input a data through the use of keyboard, it will output in the monitor and if you also want to print that through the use of printer, that was the external environment. This is the fourth component, system interconnection. It is the mechanism that provides for communication among CPU, main memory, and input and output. A common example of system interconnection is by means of a system bus consisting of a number of conducting wires to which all the other components attach. Major structural components of CPU. Control unit controls the operation of the CPU and hence the computer. Arithmetic and logic unit also known as ALU performs the computer's data processing function. Register provides internal storage to the CPU. It serves as the temporary memory location. CPU interconnection some mechanism that provides for communication among the control unit 
ALU and the register. So now, we will define function. It is the operation of each individual component as a part of the structure. It means to say that the component has its own role as part of a whole. There are four basic functions. These are the data processing, data storage, data movement, and control. Data processing, the process of data. For example, your encoding that is the one process because you can't see the output in the monitor. Data storage. Data comes in and gets processed, and the result go out immediately. Data movement. Movement of data within itself and the outside world. Example of this are when you print your data input. Control. Control the three functions.